today we shall discuss about the operational transconductance amplifiers so operational transconductance amplifiers are basically uh, differential amplifiers with a single stage so uh, let's see how does an operational amplifier transconductance amplifier look like so now you have the current source here then you have the differential pair then you have the diode connected load let us say it is in y v by x 1 and v by x 2 we have v d d here let us turn this input as v m and v p so now this is actually uh, operational transconductance amplifier circuit is nothing but a differential amplifier with only two high impedance nodes so what are the two high impedance nodes here is like the inputs and the outputs you should not have any other node in your circuit which is high impedance nodes other than the inputs and outputs of your circuit. So, now you have the two inputs as high impedance node and then you have the your output as an high impedance node. So, what do you mean by an high impedance node? So, whenever you uh, uh, think of an operational transconductance amplifier or whenever you try to design an operational transconductance amplifier you have to take care such that you should not connect the high impedance nodes to an low impedance path so which which makes it an low impedance node so you should be careful uh, in your circuit you have to take care that other than the output and the inputs there should be no high impedance nodes in your differential pair then we call it as an operational transconductance amplifier. So, uh, what about this, this node? Let us see, this node is not an high impedance node because these are the sources of your PMOS, they cannot be an high impedance node and what about the, these nodes? Are they high impedance nodes? No, because these will be going somewhere to the uh, mirror, the diode connector. Let us hope if it is the simpler one is like this. So, ultimately, if it is connected to a drain connected MOS, drain gate connected MOSFET, it is not an high branch node. So, what about this one? This is also not an high branch node because it is also having an uh, gate drain connected device at that node. So, uh, you have only two uh, high impedance nodes. So, now let us see, let us let us see what happens at the output if you connect an capacitor load capacitor C L. So, uh, let us see the frequency response of the circuit. Uh, how does the frequency response of the circuit look like? So, the x axis is nothing but the frequency and <coughs> what is the low, low frequency gain of this circuit. So, when you look into the drain, when you look into the drain of the uh, 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 this P MOS and the N MOS, you have to find out the uh, output resistance of the differential amplifier, which we know is nothing but the R O N in parallel with R O P. So, your low frequency gain is nothing but G m n times R o n in parallel with R o p. So, this is your low frequency gain and assuming that your load capacitance is very high and so you have a dominant pole. So, your frequency, your 
again falls like this and you have an unity gain frequency somewhere here. So, this is your DC gain and then you have a drop in the gain because of the dominant pole which is caused by the high C L. So, now what is the 3 dB frequency of this circuit? So, let us find out what is the 3 dB frequency of the circuit. So, from this you can you can just say you have an output resistance of R O n in parallel with R O p, then what else you have uh, you have the current source of G m times V n. Let us say your V n is nothing but V n minus V p. So, and then this is connected to your load capacitance C L and this is out. So, uh, you also you can also find out the 3 dB frequency in other methods saying that uh, by just multiplying the open loop gain. No, you can also find the unit again frequency by multiplying open loop gain with 3 dB. F unity is equal to open loop gain of the amplifier multiplied with the 3 dB frequency. So, if the, the unity gain frequency is given by G m times R o n in parallel with R o p into 1 by J omega C l R o n in parallel with R o p. So, you have R o n cancel. So, your unity gain frequency is equal to G m n by J omega C l. So, so now you can find your F 3 d B as I said by directly multiplying this with uh, you can get your F unity by multiplying with this with this. So, your F 3 d B is nothing but 1 by 2 pi R c 1 by 2 pi your uh, effective resistance is R o n in parallel with R o p c is your C l. So, now uh, you can also find another method as I said like if you draw an equivalent circuit of your uh, differential uh, the uh, O T A you can just find out this as like uh, if you say if you say that if uh, if you have uh, let us say V n by 2 and you have V n by 2 here. So, the current flowing is G m times V n by 2, here also G m times V n by 2 and G m times V n. So, what you have is your V out is equal to G m times V n into C l. So, your V out by V n is equal to G m times J omega C l. So, if your unit if you if you have an this is 1 it is an unity gain frequency which is equal to G m by J omega C l which is same as this one. So, uh, what is the problem with this kind of the simpler O T i is that it does not provide you an high input common mode range uh, which red which in turn like reduces the uh, uh, output swing which is allowed for your output. So, like um, you can you can go for the either folded cascode OTA uh, in order to increase the output swing. Uh, we can also say about what is the what is the <coughs> slew rate slew rate for your C L what is the required slew rate for your C L is you can just find out by from your i bias it is simply equal to which is given by d v by d t 
is equal to your i by s by c l. So, if you want to have a high slew rate, you have to increase your i by s, which in turn will increase your the overdrive voltage of your MOSFETs, input MOSFETs and the uh, current source MOSFETs, uh, which in turn increases the sizes of your MOSFETs. So, uh, which is not an uh, proper design. So, you have to go for an uh, different architecture in order to uh, uh, get the uh, good output swing uh, for a for an from an ODA. So, we will just see how how uh, does the architecture of an ODA uh, changes if you want to uh, get an uh, good output swing. So, here you have 